Oh, good afternoon. It is 1.36 on Thursday. It is a beautiful 8 degrees Celsius with clear, almost crystal clear blue skies. It's amazing. It's so pretty out today. <clears throat> Sadly, there's fuckery afoot with the peoples out and about and I'm done. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to wait, you know, at least the two minute mark before I curse, but I'm here to tell you today is so trying. <laughs> maybe it's me. Maybe I'm having a bitch attack today. That is extremely possible. <laughs> but oh my God, I've had enough. So <laughs> anybody watching? How are you doing? <laughs> I hope your day is treating you well. If you're watching this at the end of your day, I hope it treated you well. <clears throat> My saving grace for the day is that I'm not working. So, whatever. <laughs> There's that, I suppose. So, I went to the GameStop up at the mall today and I got the boys there gift cards for their gaming stuff and I was gonna go to the bookstore and get their gift cards for their book stuff um, but my math didn't math <laughs> and I'm $40 short for the bookstore so I want to do $40 for each of them and I only have $40 in my wallet so I may go back later on and do it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm I'm also um, in town for the weekend. I'm not going to my boyfriend's anymore. Um, monkey. Oh, I just missed a text. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. My boyfriend was texting. Um, I didn't see what he said. I'll check later. <laughs> I told him I'm vlogging, bro. I told them just before I started, like I'm starting right now. So, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh my God. It's one of those days, man. <sighs> the hell was I saying? I got distracted by texts. I have to start bringing my vlogging camera. Cause yeah. <laughs> It has to be, it has to start being like, okay, e-cigarette, keys, coffee, vlogging camera, right? We're good to go. <laughs> we just throw it in the purse all the time. And then I have it. Cause yeah. Although then I also, well, I, my tripod I could keep in the car always. Cause I don't vlog around the house really. I vlog in my car <laughs> from the relative safety and comfort, the bubble that is my car. <laughs> Oh yes, Monkey has um, um, volunteer stuff to do for school toward his 40 hours. The kids have to do 40 hours of community work um, before they can graduate. And I guess that's like regardless of whether or not they get all their credits, which in my opinion is stupid. Okay, I'm sorry if you're one of these, you know, all about your community people. I owe my community shit. I'm just saying. Okay, my community has never done a damn thing for me. So. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Like, years, years ago, when my mom first came down sick and, and on top of that, my life was in the toilet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And I had to go on to welfare, and it was just, it was a shit show, okay? I had to declare bankruptcy. It was mad. It was mad. I was terrified that my mom was going to die, and that I was going to lose my house, and I, it, it was a shit show. We ended up having to go to um, our local food bank for groceries and diapers and whatever, right? Because Monkey was just a babe. Um, and it was just utter utter madness um and my experience with dealing with the local food bank which is run by um one of the churches here in town yeah they can all they can all flick my bean okay yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
crooked as the day is long, okay? <laughs> as they all pull up in their Cadillac escalades and walk out with, you know, the best groceries there and the $5 hot and readies and leaving those of us who actually need that food bank with literal rotten food. Horrible. Horrible. I do not, I do not support them in this town. I'll say them. The Inn of the Good Shepherd. They can suck my big toe. Crooked as the day is long. And when I mentioned something to them about it, because I, I sat and watched it happen, <laughs> they threatened to take my, my food cart away. Yep. Yep. We're going to make your kids go hungry if you say anything. That's the way they are. Crooked. Crooked. See them in hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I got big issues. Big issues. Yeah, I owe, I owe this community fuck all. <laughs> Anyways, that tangent aside, this is what Monkey has to do to graduate. So do what you got to do to get the hell out, <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> I wouldn't do it regardless, <laughs> but that's me. I bite my nose off to spite my face. I do it all the time. Whatever. <laughs> so he's got these hours to do and he's picked up this thing and I thought it was like a food drive. I thought it was picking up or no, I'm sorry. I thought it was dropping off presents because I was in a program like that through monkey and boo boo's middle school. Um, they dropped off presents a couple of times and I didn't know anything about it. I wasn't asked about it. I wasn't told about it. It just kind of happened a couple of times. And I was like, Oh, Oh, <laughs> I felt bad. I tried to give it back. I was like, like it's, I will find a way to make sure my kids have a Christmas. Don't worry about it. Like there's always somebody worse off. I feel so I, I tried to be like, you know, but then still be respectful at the same time, if that makes sense. And they just, they were not having any of it. They were like, yeah, it was a draw. And, and I was like, a draw, like, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. <laughs> so that's what I thought Monkey was doing. It's not. It's a food drive. So they're picking up food. I'm sure it's all going to the fucking Inn of the Good Shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever. I bite my tongue. He's got to get the hours. Whatever. So, I have to drop him off. I have to have him at the school on Saturday. I think he said by 8.25. Awesome. <laughs> so, I figured what I might do is drop him off and um, hit the bookstore they might not be open. I will have to Google their hours. They're just a really small local bookstore. They're awesome. It's the best bookstore. Next, to, there was this little grungy bookstore that I used to go to um, in Toronto when I was going to school there. Um, I used to go to school on Young and Gerard, and attached to the school building was this really, really, really old, grimy looking bookstore. It was awesome. It was awesome. The guy there was so weird and fantastic. I loved him so much. <laughs> it had a lot of like really old books and like old poetry, a lot of like Edgar Allan Poe and a lot of like Oscar Wilde. Like it was all that. It's the college district sort of, right? Like there's Ryerson and then across the street and then my school and yeah so <laughs> it was you know kind of like that but it was just really like an old it was old it was super old and it had little table like little wood tables you could sit and have your coffee and whatever and it was I love places like that <clears throat> this isn't that this is you know it's but it's a small they have tables like there's like a an outdoor indoor <laughs> place that you can go and sit. It's kind of cold in the winter. I mean, there's a heater there, but it's still kind of cold door opening and closing and stuff, but you can sit and have a coffee and a snack and read the book that you bought or whatever. 
<laughs> it's cute. And they can order you anything. If they don't have it, they will find it for you. They are fantastic. They are absolutely fantastic. I like bookstores. <laughs> I like old bookstores. Like, I loved the one that was attached to my school in Toronto. That was just, that was the cat's ass. For me. I love that shit. <laughs> It's the kind of place that an aspiring, you know, thriller, horror, gothic type writer could sit down and really get inspired just by being in the place that they're sitting in. It, it's just, yeah, it's like that. It, it was awesome. I, I love those. I, I love places like that. Character. <laughs> so I might do that Saturday, but we'll see. I don't know. I do new. The, the, l listen. This year has really, this, this Christmas has really snuck up on me. By now, I usually have about a grand saved up for Christmas. I had about $300 and I just spent like just under 200 Like, you know, <laughs> we're, we're playing Christmas by ear this year. It, it really snuck up on me. <laughs> I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to do our junk breakfast. The kids will be just, I can see my kids being like, don't worry about the presents. Make sure you have everything for breakfast. Like, fuck it. It's fine. Because <laughs> I get up at like five o'clock six o'clock at the latest on Christmas morning and cook until about seven ish. And I make, you know, scrambled eggs. I make home fries. I make like a pound of bacon, half of which is mine. Cause I only eat bacon once a year. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I make sausages. I make Oh, like sticky buns, cinnamon rolls. Yeah, and that's breakfast. Um, and pancakes. You gotta have pancakes. Lots of syrup. Like, yeah. Everybody gets hot chocolate, tea, coffee. Like, it, it's 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 the, the most cooking I do all fucking year. All in one day. <laughs> all in one meal. It's insane. It, it's absolutely insane. But it's a good time. <laughs> I usually take a nap. Now that my mom's gone, I can take a nap. Because <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Upside to everything, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> my mom would find that funny. Okay. <laughs> Come for me. <laughs> Had enough of that shit. <laughs> Had some twat on Twitter come for me uh, uh, over a post I'd made. Um, and if I was using my other camera, I would show you the post. But it's it's basically a meme of like Ralphie photoshopped in a strip club about to lick the pole. And I captioned it, no, Ralphie, not that pole. It's funny. Okay. It's It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie's got like six fingers. It's so, it, it, it's, it's just. <laughs> it is, it is the weirdest computer generated picture. It's so odd, but it's hilarious. Like I said, Ralphie has like six fingers. His tongue is weird and fucked up. And it's just, it's hilarious. Everything about it is hilarious. <clears throat> Somebody on Twitter got butt hurt. It went and went off on me for too damn long, quite frankly. <laughs> Whatever. I had some fun with this person and then it was like, okay, you know what? Like, I'm done. Like, drop it. It's, I get it. You don't like it. When Feel free to block me. Fucking mute me. It's fine. Get off my page. But then this twat went over to my YouTube and started posting you know, calling me a pedo and all this kind of crap. But that ended it right there. I was like, you know what? You got a beef with me on Twitter. You can beef with me all you want on Twitter. Twitter's a fucking dumpster fire anyway. Go for it. I, I really don't care. What you're not going to do is put a bunch of fuckery on my YouTube. That ain't happening. So I reported them to YouTube. 
And then yesterday, I went on the Twitter. It was, it was like early evening. Well, mid-evening, I guess. It's probably around like... Well, like maybe 6.30 or something like that. It was before I went and got boo-boo from work. And I seen that they had posted again like eight hours prior and I was like we're like I thought we dropped this like I thought I thought we were done you know I don't care that your feelings are hurt and that you're in an uproar and you think that I'm creepy or what like I I don't care I baby I don't know you <laughs> you're nothing to me <laughs> right and this person doesn't care that you know I don't care, but apparently they do because they keep posting. So I screenshotted everything and reported them to Twitter. Well, Twitter don't give a fuck. Twitter's like, yeah, whatever. I was like, okay, well, I wasn't expecting much from Twitter, but I have all the, I have all the comments. What I wish I had done was screenshotted because YouTube and Twitter both, when you report an issue, the comment goes away like it's it's there but it's not like you can't see it so i wish i'd screenshotted the one on on my you on my youtube before i reported it but i was just i was like you're not fucking with my youtube bro <laughs> you know get out of here <laughs> i don't know if that's shit i like me a good troll but i mean come the fuck on that's not trolling that's slander that's what that is <laughs> the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah keep your beef with keep your twitter beef on twitter okay beef all you want on twitter i don't give a fuck i won't even mute you. i won't even mute you i won't block you i won't mute you fucking go off i don't care it's twitter <laughs> expect it The drama. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> my nose is itchy. <laughs> Yesterday when we went to clean this house, there's this house that we do. I think we do them pretty much monthly. <laughs> And I said to my boss, because she hasn't been there in like forever, right? But now that it's me, my coworker, and my boss, and that's it, she's starting she's starting to see why we're bitching about certain places. <laughs> the frustration and how real it is. We pull up to this house and I said, okay, everybody, take a deep breath of fresh air right now, because it's the end of the month. So it's a 50-50 shot. The air fresheners in this place are either dead. And she hasn't replaced them yet or she has just replaced all the air fresheners take a deep breath of fresh air now right my co-workers laughing and I'm you know giggling like but it's not funny like it's horrid and my boss is like Whoo? he's like haha you shall see my friend you shall see because I've whined to her about it before it's horrible it, it's so strong in there that my nose swells so bad I cannot breathe it's so stuffed up it's horrible my eyes water you can taste it in the back of your throat it's disgusting it's disgusting three times ago when we were there it was so bad again like I said my eyes were running my nose was stuffed up I could taste it I was like literally gagging it was horrible it was horrible I, I wasn't putting on a show it was truly affecting me it was really bad so I finished up, I think I was doing floors that day. So I finished up and the new, the, the new hire at the time and my coworker were mucking about in the kitchen, uh, mopping the floor and whatever, shooting the shit, whatever. And I was just dying. And they both kind of looked over at me and they were like, um, you get out of here. Like, it's fine. Just take everything, go reload 
everything at like, you know, I was like, peace out. You got to tell me twice fucking gone. Like <laughs> it was bad. That's the worst it's been. It hasn't been that bad since. But it was bad. And that day, I took note. Every single plug in every single room just on the main level of this house has one of those plug-in air fresheners in it. Every single room. Okay? That is not necessary. It's, it's a big open space with a corridor down the back off the kitchen. You do not need one of these plug-ins in every fucking room. Okay. And there are none upstairs. The scent just kind of wafts upstairs and upstairs. It's fine. It's, it's still strong, but it's manageable. I'm not dying. Okay. My eyes aren't watering. I'm not choking on it. Okay. Like literally we walk into the house and as soon as we open the door, everybody went, Whoa. <laughs> And I immediately started hacking. I couldn't help. I try not to. I end up putting my face like kind of half in my sweater. And I'm just like, blah, blah, right? And whatever. I, my coworker gave me, I was doing floors again. Awesome. Oh, whatever. I grabbed everything and I just immediately went upstairs where I could at least kind of breathe. And my boss came up. She was doing bathrooms and she's like, Right? Right? Like, <laughs> I mean, when I'm telling a story, I like to exaggerate for dramatic effect, okay? But when I was telling her about the smell of this place, I was not exaggerating. I wasn't, no, there was no drama needed. I mean, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> this time wasn't as bad. And I get it, you get a little nose deaf in your own house, but for fuck's sakes, man. <laughs> and I have a very poor sense of smell. I really do. So for a, I, I, but I am also scent sensitive. So when something is strong enough that the scent is picked up by my nose, I fucking die. I die. And I don't care, like I love the smell of lavender. I love it. In that house, it would kill me. I would hate it so much. Like, when a scent is so strong, you can actually taste it in the back of your throat. That's too much. It's, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. So, when we finished, and we got back in the van, and we're, we're getting ready to leave, my boss says, uh, maybe I'll text her next time and just let her know that, like, before we get, like, the day that we're coming, maybe unplug okay, like unplug your scented stuff. Like it's, it's a, and it, the rest of the day I could not breathe. I could not breathe out my nose. I was a mouth breather for the rest of the day. It was awful. <laughs> Truly terrible. Anywho, we are over the 20 minute mark. So I'm going to boot. <sighs> And I don't know, find something to do at home, I guess. <laughs> I have some cooking I need to do, so maybe I'll just go home and start doing that. So, anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself, and we'll talk later.